हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी क्विक वीडियो इन विच आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ डुअल एक्सेस चार्ट एंड वॉट इज द डिफरेंस एंड अ कम्बाइंड एक्सेस चार्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग अ डुअल एक्सेस चार्ट आई विल फर्स्ट शो यू हाउ अ डुअल एक्सेस चार्ट इज क्रिएटेड सो आई एम नेमिंग द शीट एस डुअल एक्सेस सो अ डुअल एक्सेस चार्ट इज क्रिएटेड ऑन टू डिफरेंट एक्सेस Suppose I have category and I have sales. I will just switch it. So here I can see category wise sales. Now for creating the dual axis chart, I I will drag the second measure on right hand side. So this is category wise sales. Suppose I want to compare profit also. So I will drag profit here on right hand side. So as as you can see, in dual axis, two axes are created. One is one is a separate axis for sales, and one is a separate axis for profit. So that's why this is known as a dual axis chart. I will just ch change the mark type for sales. I will keep the mark type as bar, and uh, I will keep the for profit. I will keep it circle only because it is easy to visualize. So this is this is a dual axis chart. Now let me create the combined axis chart. i will name the sheet as combined axis and for combined axis chart first of all i will take the category in the similar way similar way we uh, just what we did in the previous graph i will drag the sales here i will switch it i will set it to entire view and now i will drag the profit so i hope you remember that while creating dual axis chart i drag this uh, new measure on right hand side but in the case of combined axis chart we have to drag this measure on on top of the already present axis only so i will drag profit here so see we on the same axis both the both the profit and sales are being compared so this is a dual axis chart here we have two two different axis and this is a combined axis chart here we have only single axis on and on this single axis only two measures are being compared so now i will dictate the differences between a combined axis chart and a dual axis chart so it will be easy for you people to understand first of all because uh, like in my exam i got around like uh, in my tableau desktop specialist exam i got around 2 to 3 questions based on com like what is the main difference between combined axis chart and dual axis chart like it was not a direct direct question that what is the difference between a combined axis chart and a dual axis chart but somewhere the question was somewhere around them like the concept of this so that's why it's very important to know the di actual differences between a dual axis chart and a combined axis chart so a dual axis chart is created on two different axis so here as you can see we have two different axis so a dual axis chart is created on two different axis and a combined axis chart is created on single axis we can see that in the in this is a combined axis chart and we have a single axis and one of the most important differences multiple marks are created in the case of dual axis chart multiple marks are created here as you can see uh, we have two marks uh, one is this and one is this i mean see see in the case of combined axis we have one mark only this this is the only mark but in the case of dual axis we have we have three different marks one is the all mark second one second mark is for the sales and third mark is for the profit so second difference is this third difference is dual axis compared only two measures together this is the most important uh, difference that dual axis can compare only two me two measures we can't like compare more than two measures in case of dual axis see we can't add more than if we add one more uh, one one more measure here so this is how uh, uh, this is the visualization which we are getting so it means that we can't compare more than two measures in the case of dual axis chart but we can compare more than two measures in the case of combined axis chart suppose if i if i want to compare discount also so i can just add the discount here and i can see uh, we, we can see three uh, I, i mean uh, the value is very negligible so th that's why we are not able to see the bar but we can compare mo more than one uh, more than two measures also in the case of combined axis chart so uh, this is this is the third difference and the fourth difference is dual axis chart is created by dragging and keeping second measure at right side of the view so as as you have seen that while creating the dual axis chart 
sales loss already present here and I kept and I dragged the profit on right hand side but in the case of combined axis char chart I dragged the second measure on this side only so this is one more difference so these are all the difference between dual axis chart and combined axis chart and I hope now you are cleared uh, what is the actual difference between dual axis chart and combined axis chart and I will show you one more way of creating dual axis chart so I will put category here now I will put sales here I will switch the view now this is category by sales so in the pre uh, while creating this this chart I I drag the second measure on right right hand side right, uh, right side that is also a correct way and one more way of creating is suppose I drag the profit here now I can go here and I can and, and I can click on dual axis so in this way also we get a dual axis chart so this is how how we create uh, this is a, this is the another way of creating the dual axis and before ending the video I, I want to discuss with you a few more things uh, regarding a dual axis chart and a combined axis chart so this is a dual axis chart similar to what I just showed you few minutes back here I have category and I am comparing two different measures profit and sales. So there is a concept of synchronization also in dual axis chart. So I have two different axes here profit and sales and now see here the values are different here it is 0k it is 20k it is according to the profit and here values are different it is 0k 100k it is according to the sales. So what I can do is I can click here I, I can right click here and I can synchronize the axis. So both the axes are, axes are now adjusted according to each other. So this is the concept of synchronization. You can read more about it online. You will get a better understanding of this there. Uh, you can read it uh, on Tableau's website. And now I will show you a slide where I will I have mentioned all the all the differences which I just told you. So it will be easy for you. You can take a screenshot of this picture. So it will be easy for you, it will be handy for you to revise them anytime. I will just read them out. Dual axis chart and combined axis chart. Dual axis chart are created on two different axes. Combined axis chart is created on a single axis. Multiple marks are created in the case of dual axis. In case of combined axis, single mark is created. I have shown shown these uh, these all the things to you practically also uh, in the video. Uh, in the case of dual axis, it can only compare two measures together, but combined axis can compare n number of measures together. Dual axis is created by dragging the second measure at opposite side of the already present axis and combined axis chart are created by dragging the second measure on top of the already pre present axis. A dual axis chart is no also known as combination chart and a combined axis chart is also known as a shared axis chart and it is also known as a branded axis chart. So most of the people have this co confusion that okay this is the dual axis, this is the combined axis but what is the combination chart, what is the shared axis chart. So this is the main difference. Dual axis chart are also known as combination chart and combined axis chart are also known as shared axis or also known as blended axis chart. And a combined axis bar chart is, is also known as a side by side bar chart sometime. So this is all about this video guys. Thank you so much. Bye.